Well, hello and welcome back, traders, to Grok Trade. Caroline Alizan here, a graduate student of the Grok Trade Mentoring Program. It is Monday, October 17th, of 2011, and we are looking at the Q's daily chart as we always do. So, let's do some technical analysis here again, and let's take a look at our daily chart. Look what happened here today. We are beautifully filling that gap here that we formed on Friday. We gapped up on Friday into a pretty significant area of resistance right here at the 58.15 mark about. And today we are pulling back down to another area of support down below right here at the 56.80. Let's see what that is. 56 and about 56.90 mark. So we are beautifully filling that gap and we are stuck between these two areas, the area of resistance and the area of support. So we are trading in the tight trading range right here at this moment. So what we need to pay close attention to tomorrow is this upper area of resistance again, 58.15, and the lower area of support, the 57 mark about. So that is really really important for you to pay close attention to because if we ever get another candlestick trading in that tight trading range, we would call it a high base. So that would be a high base formation and high bases are more bullish than bearish so then we would need to wait for a breakout one way or the other. If we ever broke to the upside through that up area of resistance then we could continue higher to the next area of resistance right here, the 58.87 mark, and then the next one up is 59.26, then the 59.55, finally the 59.89 mark. So you have all of those areas of resistance here. But if we instead pull back down, breaking through the 57 mark to the downside and closing below it, we could continue lower, but first of all, we we'll not only need to break through the 57 mark, also we will have to break through the 200 day moving average as well as the 8 moving average, which is right here at about 56.24. So we need to break through that one as well and close below it. And from then on, we could continue lower to that next area of support down here, the 55.42 mark, and then the next one down 54.70, and then the next one up here at about 53.82. And then if we ever break through the 50, 53.82, we would be in trouble. That's for sure. So you can see the huge gap here um, between these two areas of support. So, so that's what I just see on the chart. And then look at the MACD. The MACD is starting to point lower. It's starting to point down towards the zero line, but according to the MACD, we are still bullish. We are still above the zero line, pointing lower. So we have a really nice confirmation on that down move here on the markets here today. So it's a pretty nice confirmation. And the other thing that I see here is that we've been trading on light volume for quite a while, which I don't really like. I don't like anything trading on small and low volume. I need to see a confirmation. I want to look, I want to see spikes in volume and then it means that the move is pretty strong. So that's what I am looking for right now. I am looking for spikes in volume, I am looking for the MACD to point either direction and also I am looking for a move on the chart that would be confirmed together with the MACD as well as with the volume. All right, yeah, so at least you have some ideas of what to look for tomorrow. So watch all of the areas of support and resistance that I showed you here today and trade smart.